Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. Today's a special day, probably one of my favorite holidays. Today is Christmas Day 2023. Uh, kind of a special date for Coca-Cola, but uh, hang on, we'll be right back and we'll give you a little bit of history of the Coca-Cola bottle 100 years ago today. Hey, welcome back. This will be a kind of a history deal on the Coke bottle. It's kind of coined the Christmas bottle. Why it was coined that in 1915, Coca-Cola, they felt like they needed to come up with a, a good logo or not really a logo, but a design of the bottle. And the design of the bottle, they wanted something with feel and something that they could look at and tell this was just Coca-Cola by itself. 1915, they, they sent out to all the bottlers, come up with something and we're gonna pick a designer out of that group. Well, the Root Brothers, CJ and William Root, and I believe it was Terre Haute, Indiana. So they had a kind of a, a design, the hobble skirt, believe it or not, it's a dress that they wore in the early 1900s. But if you if you look at a, a picture of the hobble skirt, it got real tight around the ankles. It didn't last very long because nobody really liked it. But the Root Brothers thought, you know, this kind of, I think this will work for the bottle. Well, the Root Brothers won the design of that bottle. And as you see, there's a patent, December 25th, 1923. What's kind of weird is why the patent date hits on a Christmas day, which is, uh, everybody kind of wondered, uh, how is that even possible? Well, in the early 1900s, they were waiting on the release. Well, the releases only come out on Tuesdays of each week. Coca-Cola, when they submitted that, well, their release come out on Christmas Day, and that they felt like, hey, that's going to be kind of a cool thing to put on the bottle. But uh, the patent then run from 1923 to 1957 uh, was the original design uh, of patent that, that come out. So if you're looking at one of these bottles and you're thinking, man, that's pretty good looking for 1923. Well, with the research that we did, they made these in uh, 89 and 97. In 89 and 97, Coke went out, redid the glass, I mean thick glass, all look original. They even allowed them to put the names on the bottom to tell the difference uh, if you've got an actual 1923 bottle, here's the trick. When you're looking at one of these bottles, take a look at the bottom. And if you see the name on the bottle, which I kind of really like this one because it's an Atlanta, Georgia bottle, which pretty well the home office. But if you see these two lines coming ar around the side, that is a reproduction one that Coke did in those two years. If you see one and it's got large letters, and I'm going to try to get Sean to pop up one that will show what the large letter ones look like, you've got the real deal. December 25th, 1923, mainly Coca-Cola was just very happy to get their patent. Finally went through, and it went through on a Christmas day in 1923. Even these are very valuable. Uh, you know, they're 25, 30 years old. So a little bit of the design of the hobble skirt bottle, the thickness of that glass was incredible. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but one of the, one of the things that I, I've, I studied a little bit of history, they knew it was going to be a bottle that they're going to have to keep refilling. So they couldn't make it out of something like we've got today. And what's kind of crazy, that little bottle right there holds eight ounces. And it's literally about half the, the weight. Probably uh, there's eight ounces in that one. And these only held six. But man, they went a long time. They, they, I think the, they've kept that bottle production going clear into the 50s. Uh, this thing was made. So you kind of wonder, why green? Probably had to go back to the original guys that designed it. That was one of their things. They wanted the green. Well, there's a lot of copper 
involved in the product. And that copper gives it that green color. Uh, Coca-Cola had a, a green that they kind of wanted, so he, they put that in the formula. So that's why you see these in green. Obviously with that copper in there, probably time, as time goes on, they get probably a little bit darker. If you got one of these bottles, uh, put it in our comments or jump onto our Facebook page, shoot us some pictures of what you've got. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to see uh, the town that it's coming from. Some kind of cool with the Coca-Cola company, they tied a lot of things in with Christmas. If you'll look back clear in the early 1900s when Coca-Cola come out, you'll see a lot of uh, commercials with the Christmas. They tied themselves in with Christmas. A great time of year, a lot of people drinking Coca-Cola, but uh, a little bit of history there. I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, I've got my son with me. Uh, I'm gonna have him get on camera. Sean's with me today. He's my editor, my guy that says I screw up too much or talk too loud or don't talk enough. But uh, hey, we just wanna, I'm gonna have a Coke on you today. Uh, we'll get a bottle out here. Pull one out of there. There we go. There's one. There's two. Hey, Merry Christmas 2023. 2024 is going to bring some exciting stuff. Probably an old uh, bicycle and probably an old co uh, candy machine. You guys have been crazy subscribers. I can't believe we're approaching the 750 mark so thank you very much and we're going to have a, a coke on you for christmas day i hope everybody has a great day merry christmas, merry christmas. and it's cold <laughs>